are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. All right, so today we're going to make this short and sweet. What we're going to be doing is we are going to be creating a crystal. The first thing you want to do is start a piece of paper 8 by 12. Next thing you want to do is you want to set a gradient to whatever colors you want. It doesn't matter what color. I decided blue and purple. And then you add a new layer. Pretty much, when in doubt, add a new layer. Then you're going to start making the outline of your crystal. You're going to want to do this in a light gray so that you can uh, still see it when you get rid of your gradient layer. And then just kind of make a crystal shape. You can look, use a reference or you can just make one up as you go along. I kind of just made one up so if it looks a little wonky, whatever. Um, add a couple different angles. You want to have a few different shapes inside of the crystal. If it's too simple, it's going to look kind of plain. All right, once you're done, you want to grab the wand tool. By the way, I'm using Fire Alpaca in case you weren't able to catch that. And you want to set your gradient tool again to two different colors. You're pretty much going to use those same colors for the entire picture, as you can see here. I'm just setting mine to light green and teal, and I just keep selecting with the wand, and then I select the gradient using um, my uh, keys. I turn back on my background, so that I can see what it all looks like. And I want to finish up the background with kind of a glow look. So I'm going to use a really soft opacity airbrush. And I'm just going to airbrush in the background. Change up the color so it's not just all one color. And then last I'm going to take a particle brush and I am going to be using the particle brush behind my crystal and above my crystal just to kind of add a little bit more depth to my picture so that I'm not completely just blaring out those particles. Change the opacity, change the size to get it just the way you want it, but once you're done, kind of get those particles around it. This is all up to you. Last, you want to take an airbrush tool and you want to use just a little bit of texture in all your crystals. Otherwise, it looks a little bit of flat and lifeless. If you just add those little bitty lines all going parallel across each side of your crystal, it'll give it that life that it needs. All right, so that's the end of this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you liked it. Otherwise, you'll get a bunch of subscribe information. Bye-bye.